Hey you guys, so I'm back and today we're going to be talking about my November curl box. So I just received this package. It is the 15th and um, if I'm correct, I believe they sent this box out, I want to say on the 12th or 13th. Give me a second and I will check. Yes, they um, shipped it out on November the 13th. So yeah, I haven't even opened it as you can see and I have my scissors and we're going to open this box. So, if you would like to see what's in the November curl box, then please keep watching. So, starting, I'm just opening up this box. I couldn't find my regular scissors, so I have these eyebrow scissors. If I don't stab myself. Sturdier than usual. So yeah, this is the curl box, and I can't remember what the theme is, but we're about to find out. Um, usually they'll put extra products in the box if there are any, or if the or if the products within the box are too bulky. Some of them don't make it inside the box, but they actually take this one. So I'm curious as to what's in here. So starting off, I'm going to put up a picture of the card that is in this November curl box. This is the card. Oh! <laughs> so the theme of this box is high shine. I forgot, I do remember it now. It's high shine. So a letter from the editor says, shimmering strands are, are an easy achievement with this month's high shine box. Your design essentials almond and avocado collection contains pure nut oils and butters and a healthy dose of avocado to relieve dryness and intensify the luster of your hair. Keep reading to learn out how you can boost your sparkle. So I'm going to open this up. So as it said, what's in this box is design essentials almond and avocado collections. I like design essentials. Like I can't get mad at it. I think I feel like this line has been out before, but I might be lying to myself. Actually, give me a second and I'm actually going to Google and see if this is a new line or if it's already been out because I'm curious now because if these if this is like one of those oldie goodie boxes, I just I just wanted to. So I actually just checked and I found out online that these products were released sometime in 2017. So they are not new to the scene, but to me, they are new products for me because I wasn't on the lookout for them and I didn't know, I actually didn't know these existed. Um, they, they're, so there's probably plenty of videos on people using these products, but um, they are an oldie but goodie and Curlbox wanted everybody to see these products. So yeah. I'm just gonna get into um, the rest of the information that's in this card and the products are that are in this box. So yeah. So starting with the card that is in the box, I'm gonna go through these products like I normally do. Um, so yeah, it starts off saying cool off. You probably already know to rinse your curls with cool water to close the cuticle, but do you know why? Hot water may feel fantastic on your scalp while washing, but it can contribute to dry, brittle hair after using your almond avocado moisturizing detangling sulfate free shampoo which is a mouthful um, a detangling and moisturizing cleanser a cool rinse will help retain nutrients as well as lock and shine so they did put in here the almond and avocado moisturizing detangling sulfate free shampoo so this is how the bottle looks if my camera will zoom in we will be Gucci Think my lights are too bright for it so so next layering up after locking in moisture with almond avocado moisturizing and detangling conditioner the best way to prevent a loss of moisture is to layer on your almond and avocado detangling leave-in conditioner both formulas contain shea and almond along with plant extracts and protein let your leave-in quickly penetrate the hair hair shaft um, cut detangling time in half and prevent dullness so it talked about the almond and avocado moisturizing and detangling conditioner which is in the same bottle as the shampoo and they talked about the detangling leave-in conditioner. I'm not saying almond 
I'm not saying all that no more. Which looks exactly the same, but this is a leave-in. And I'm glad they put the shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in in here. Because I'm trying to get on the trend of actually using leave-ins the way they're supposed to be used. You know, condition and leave-in. Now, if they had a deep conditioner in here, I would be sad. But anyway, so, next it says, Nothing adds intense shine to natural hair um, like honey. Your Honey Curl Forming Cluster is a gel-like styler that fights shrinkage and dries with a layer of gloss that coats curls. And you can also lay your edges down with Honey and Shea Edge Tamer, an edge control that uses castor oil to leave your hair with a light sheen. Oh. So this is the Honey Curl Forming Cluster. Um, so this does have honey and chamomile. And on the bottle, it says that it saves up to 30 minutes of styling time. And I want to see what the ingredients are while I'm on camera because if it has glycerin, that's like one of the second ingredients. Glycerin is the second ingredient. I spoke too soon. But, like I said, I do like Design Essential products, so I don't care for glycerin like I always say but you know lately I've been getting into using more products with it Ooh. it smells very clean it barely even has a scent it smells more like aloe if you've ever smelled aloe anything it smells like that but it has a clean smell to it and it's not a sticky consistency definitely is not And the shampoo conditioner smells like just ordinary shampoo conditioner. It smells slightly floral, fruity-ish, but it's not strong at all. And it's definitely a clean type of floral, fruity scent. If that's how I can explain it. And this is the Edge Tamer. Ooh, the Edge Tamer smells good, y'all. It reminds me. And actually, that, um curling custard this the scent in this is much stronger than that curl um custard but it reminds me of white grape peach wash white grape peach that's exactly that's exactly the smell so y'all um i won't be doing a demo today but i did want to show y'all what was in this curl box um before they released it or in case you just want to know what it is and I guess that's it. Like always, I will put the details in the description box below. All of these products will be listed. And everything as far as their details or what those products are used for, I will also put those in the, in the description box below as well. So be sure to check that out if you have any questions or if you have any um, suggestions on what what you would like me what style you would like me to do using these products or which product you would like to see the most then please leave them in the comment section below as well um so i guess like always to stop from rambling i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you enjoy see ya